So why do we talk about flattening the curve? Why not talk about eradicating or eliminating this virus? Why don't we aim for a situation where we, we just get rid of this virus? Well, the reality is that it's very difficult to do so. It is very difficult to stop the spread of this virus. And the reason for that really revolves around these five characteristics. The first is that even before a person becomes ill with the coronavirus infection, for several days before they have symptoms, they are already infectious and they are already spreading the virus to others. And so household contacts become infected. Uh, people they interact with in public transport in a range of different settings can get the, the virus from somebody who hasn't yet shown symptoms. The second is that we have, and we think, because we haven't been able to measure this accurately in many parts of the world, including South Africa, but we think that somewhere between 20% and 50% of infections are very mild. So we call these asymptomatic uh, infections, where the person does not know at all that they've acquired this particular virus. But even though they do not have symptoms, they are still infectious and they can spread this virus. The third is that this virus spreads rapidly, much more rapidly than we've seen with other infections, such as influenza. And so before we can even catch up, we're trying to find the cases, the virus has already spread. And we know that it can infect from each infected person, can infect up to two others. The, the fourth uh, reason why it's so difficult is because this particular virus is also associated with super spreading events. We saw this in particular in the one case in South Korea, where the first 30 patients, they were able to control the amount of spread by identifying all those who were in contact with the person by doing contact tracing. They were able to put in quarantine and they stopped the spread of the virus. However, patient 31 in South Korea was infected she went to church. She then went to a buffet lunch. She then went to the hospital where she had a test. And when she had done these things, she had exposed thousands of people. There were hundreds that became infected through the buffet lunch. So you get these super spreading events. And because so many people get infected, it's really difficult to find every one of those cases and to stop the infection from spreading. And then finally, even when you do get the spread under control, because we do not have adequate immunity, you will always run the risk of repeated waves of outbreaks and the new epidemics coming. For example, Singapore, which for many days had the epidemic under control, with very few and almost no uh, indigenous uh, infections occurring. And then suddenly, they have an outbreak, several hundred cases occurring in, the, in one particular residential complex for migrant workers. So it is very difficult for us to simply eliminate this virus. And so we have chosen an alternative, which is to flatten the curve.